Someone had heard Monokuma's procl proclamation, and they are gathered by the Red Door. And as soon as we were all there... Monokuma appears! Oh, God! Hello! Hello, hello! He's multiplied! Wrong. No, I'm on vacation. It just looks that way because of an illusion. It's so fast that it looks like I'm a fly. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one's the real Monokuma? I really don't care, man. <sighs> Can we just get on the elevator already? Even though we obviously are, but you know. Boy! The <laughs> crowd. You're not playing alone! Alone, alone! Stop talking. We are not here to play with you, damn it! Look at the vein of my eye! I mean, my forehead! Okay. Okay, but. Hey! Hey! That was totally pointless. If anyone's here ready to go, please board the pain train or, or <laughs> the elevator! I'll see you guys later! Yay! Let's go! Okay then, shall we? Please! <laughs> Please! Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. What the heck? Yeah, I was about to say, like, no one's gonna be mentally prepared for this. People are gonna die, dude. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't remember me more a hero. You're gonna pay for your... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong voice. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away from more a hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you already, I didn't do it for serious. <sighs> That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume or the note? <sighs> oh, well, no, but... <laughs> How unfortunate that it would seem we have our culprit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. This isn't the place to talk about it, good god. Save your accusation for when we get to the courtroom. That's How right. long is this elevator ride anyway? She's right. Let's get, let's get down there first, then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to. I have to. Do it. I can't let whoever killed Hifumi and Taka- Yeah, that's it. Hifumi and Taka, get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that's lost their lives. Oof. Damn. That was quite a- <laughs> That was quite a- <laughs> Flash. Alright, sorry. The one who killed Hifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. Killers. Somewhere right here. I mean, someone right here. And I'm just gonna talk about that. I don't feel like talking to everybody. I took one last breath. <sighs> it excelled slowly. Begin to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone is aboard, we've been aboard, but okay. The doors close on their own. That's what elevators do. And a steel box begin to move. Wow. Damn. <laughs> it looks like in game here. This elevator is a lot here, a lot bigger than I thought it was. Going in the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. So I said, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The other door slid open, opening up onto a cool paint. <laughs> But I see all you gathered together like this, there are just how few of you are there are left. Your school life has slowly reached its climax, just and not in a good way. All because of you. Yeah. Why? Why are you making us do such cool things to each other? Well, what? What? <laughs> you really hate me so much, but I'm so cute. Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial, damn it. Yeah. Don't rush me. I'm got a closer couple started. I would never be like, stay tuned for an action back class for all girls commercial work. Yeah. I never hold out of you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. With all the markings of the of the dead on it. Okay, hold on. I gotta make sure I got my. One of my buddies has been waiting for this like all day, so I know he'll pop in soon. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, and probably there he is right now. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith. Okay, we get it. A deadly flash trial. Ah! Oh! Yes, please. See, this is what messes me up. I have it like way down here. I'm gonna do it right there. Cause that's what saved me. I almost gave you guys the wrong thing. Okay. I don't have much. Okay. There we go. Alright. All rise. 
Let's begin with a basic ex- If you can figure out an aisle yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. The We already know who did it! Was that? Was that? It was Hero. <laughs> he does not have an alibi for when the murders took place. Alibi? And he found it in that suit. Don't try and deny it! You killed them! I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I, I was asleep the whole time! I don't know anything about it! Take your murdering mouth, murderer! <laughs> yeah, hi! I forgot all about you! <laughs> Who are you calling a murderer? Yeah, you are kind of a... you know... <laughs> I, I like how it, like, triggers, like... <laughs> like, you're freaking out. I mean, you are a serial killer. I mean, technically. You, you admitted to it, so yeah. I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprint for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. S super focus mode. How many times do I have to tell you? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is here really the killer, or for anything else? We have to make that clear. I bet you missed this music. Oscar Possum, I know you love it. Okay, let's see here. Uh, um, I'm really not Everything gonna know. Everything found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. <laughs> I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! Tell you that here's care. Is that really true? Okay, Everything so... Everything we found in your room. That you are the culprit. I, 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 it's not true! It's clear a lot! No! Just hold on a second! Everything we found in your room. The blueprint, the suit part... Finally! Oh, good God! I just remembered, um, his handwriting and his drawing sure style Hero don't really match. Those yeah, that's it. What do you Good mean? God. Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote, asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't yeah, you say? Yeah, Alter Ego was, uh, that cute little, well, it turned out to be a boy. That cute boy who cross-dressed like a girl. Just because <laughs> that's how he felt more comfortable, uh, mostly. Um, made a cute uh, computer programmer and was in like the laptop, so it looked like him, but you know, but, so all that. When you so that's what they're referring to. The There's no way you could think the same person made both. Yeah, that was it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Unless that person made it a point. To disguise their handwriting. Why would no, you do that? The though? differences are bigger than that, I think. That'd be hard to do. On. I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. So, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? No. And he's not the only one. I mean, one. yes. I think Hiro's innocent as well. Huh? Then who was in that Robo Justice suit? Is it like Hiro said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. And of course, he passes off to me and brings so, Who was in the Robo Justice suit? Suspicious, the one that has been in the suit. <laughs> I got it! I mean, Obviously technically, a hero. hero was. I can't think of anyone else but who could have been. he didn't realize it. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit. And it, and and it never fit found him any the right kind way. of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. You just said that you that thought he was innocent. That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious oh, individual okay. in the suit. <laughs> Sorry, but he's not the culprit. <laughs> So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption! And what God. reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. 
But before we get to that... Thanks, three, uh, three viewers, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that yeah, out of the way. Yeah, but those these indie anime hey, games. stop trying to boss us around. Japanese high school. <laughs> All things have a proper order. Damn it. I so am. what is it? What I needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. It would Part seem Taka. that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Why do you keep pushing it on me, dude? Things are used to move Taka's body it must have been the blue tart. I got it! There's still one more thing. I think they're used to move Taka's bike. They must have been... Good lord. Oh, here we go. I got it! They were... a dolly and a tarp, right? What's with the so, attitude? let's see if I can explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? Well, all that pepto I mean, blood, excuse me. Like I said, in Japan, they made it pink because it kept the game from becoming a mature rated game. Even though I feel like the pink is more disturbing because it's not natural looking, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make the rules, people. It was people. the same tarp that, up until then, was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there, and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. And the dolly? I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. Who calls it that? I've never called it. I don't know what I call those, but not dollies. <laughs> but when the body it, like, disappeared, or so did the doll. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. Yep. In other words, you think they use the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken, huh? Are you Don't absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not possible that it was in the repository all along? And you simply didn't realize it? Okay. She's raised an objection. How do you respond? Are you thinking this? You think this is a damn shame, Yakia? Nobody expects much from you anyway. Oh, thanks, Celeste. You have all accepted the fact that Not you really Lilia. understand <laughs> what is going on around you. Nothing against them. I, I just, I just don't like. I just don't like her, <laughs> even though she is kind of funny. Wow, I never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean, but maybe I can change your mind. I just explained why the dolly must be moved from the equipment room to the repository. I knew it was at the bullet time battles. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's talk about reloading. Start with the next bullet time battle. We're gonna add one more green to the recipe. I mean, recipe, sorry. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo mark, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your ammo. But now, I'll just lock and press so they start. won't be enough to handle them. Well, damn it. Now it costs you one bullet to destroy in a single remark. Once you're on a bullet, you get a strip, so no matter how locked you are. However, you can reload by pressing the square button. Just like locking on, you have to press the square button and with the tempo mark. Basically, just remember the square button now as a function along with the X and the now I'm at reload to start fever time, and your ammo will not decrease. Good god, these directions are convoluted. But, oh, but if you're actually set to gentle, you won't reload at all, which mine isn't. In which case, you can ignore everything I just said. Because if you play it on gentle, it's way too easy. It's, like, not even fun easy. I usually play games on the easy difficulty because I want to progress through the story and stuff, but... Oh my god, hey, Unity Force. Hey, look, we're going to see happy new year. Well, happy... Late New Year's, huh? Hi, Unity Force! It's been ages, I know! Oh my god, I haven't seen you. I was, I've been wondering about you. How you been doing? Was... Did she come to her? Well, then, good luck and have fun! Okay. Alright, fine. Alright, let's see. The moment of truth. 
I definitely hate these battles, though. They're so You annoying. have it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! So pathetic! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst! You miserable wretch! I cannot agree! You are a fool! Do your worst! You have it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! So pathetic! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst! You miserable wretch! I cannot agree! You are a fool! Do your worst! You miserable wretch! You have it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! That's that was a negative thing, please! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst! You miserable wretch! I cannot agree! You are a fool! Do your worst! You had it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! Got her. There we go! I cannot Good agree! You prove it! If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheel's tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. Jeez, the Celeste really hate me that well, much. Anyway, I, I wish there's something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. We just had to strike it for a little bit again. Yeah. Oh, God. The subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then. That doesn't sound crazy at all, by the way. <laughs> what kind of robot is it? I'm not sure that really matters. I'd be it happy doesn't. to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If they you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately I remember obvious. correctly. Well, the body is moving clear out of... Okay, what does he mean by that? Oh, God. I've forgotten how annoying these trials can be in this game. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? I'm practically yeah. almost The culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it up. Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a... Well, yeah. But even with that, all you'd have to do is bend over. Oh! And then you could push the dolly no problem. So the I got it, I got it. The body off to the if you accept Ev, then you must realize that whoever... Uh, sorry, I, I don't think I realize anything. <laughs> I, don't, I like how it's delayed. I don't think I realize anything. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I know. I know what Taka was killed. And from there... Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body and loaded it onto the duck. Now, keep in mind that the... Well, yeah, all you have to do is bend over. There we no, go. Because... Tina tried it on and she could not bend, bend You're over You're absolutely at all. right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. Because the costume had this bad design. But if you it. were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position <laughs> like that? What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out this. Yeah, see? I'm blind as a bat in here. I can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And now to mention, you totally can't fit at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. God, my accents when you're are in so that horrible suit, right now. Not, not only can you not see your feet, but am I right about that? Now that you mention it, yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend it. I mean, though. you could just kind of nudge it with your ankle, I well, guess, but, you know. What's to stop you from simply pushing the dolly? Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to really you can't even see your feet? You really think someone could kick the dolly yeah, all that way? Yeah, that would way? be pretty stupid. Oh. Yeah, it'd be totally impossible. Not that I can say for sure myself. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, if you were wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a... Well, I mean, this 
isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? But you can't. There's absolutely no chance. You can't take it off by yourself. I got it. I don't because, think taking off the suit was Because a stupid idiot you made remember. a thing where only someone else could open it. <laughs> you know, it was on the outside. I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off, but it'll help. Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid freaking thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. That's such a stupid design, dude. As a former cosplayer, I can attest to that. That is who in their right mind would make a suit like that. That's just, no. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. That's true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off with him. You really can't take it off by yourself? Yeah, you know, good Hero lord, give the program. Of course, of course I wasn't up. making it up. If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wear it. I mean, Showing duh. up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to I suspect. I mean, Hero's kind of stupid, but not that yeah, stupid. That's right. So, it's really, really true that Robo Justice could have I mean, how? Body? To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? No, That's wait. Music. Just a second, if you please. Have you if forgotten you about the picture that I took? <laughs> you all got a good look at it, <laughs> did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? That if whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robot Justice. Er, that's what I decided to call him just now. So long as those facts exist, the proper conclusion is I don't beyond trust question. You. The individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hero, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be right. Why are you doing second. this, Hina? It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Like, good lord, people, call me. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it before we rush to a verdict. Could you guys we forget that we can every all single die possibility? And wrong. Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered yeah, by Hina's analyzing just things go, from Hina's every angle. Just as bad as Hero, she's just going along with everything, just Perhaps. easily. But where do we go from here? Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. I love Maybe that we'll series. uncover something new. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! <laughs> I don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what I mean... it takes... <laughs> We have to do it. We Plus, have to. Maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. Why does All that right matter? Then. Let's take another look back at what happened. I suppose we could start with this morning. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up. So we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after seven. That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered <laughs> that, that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. I don't know what you- I don't know what y'all, but... Robo Justice doesn't look that threatening to me. It just looks like he's just kind of standing there, and literally, Fumi just kind of got under him, and It looks like those stand-ups you, like, see in, uh, in museums and stuff, where you can pose. It, it, look, it looks too rigid, like, it's not even moving or anything. As it turns out, it was Robo Justice. It also soon became clear that this same Robo Justice had abducted Hifumi. Somehow. We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office, Office. <laughs> What's wrong? I saw a shadow, something moving around the top of the stairs. 
once the My West told us that, today. we decided to split up and search the second floor. And soon after that, I saw someone moving around on the third floor. And I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. Which I'm still not believing, honestly. So this was wrong. That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him. The strange costume man. He ran up as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs. So he set it further down and the hallway disappeared. And then... What was that? Quite a weird scream. <laughs> that came from down It must have been. Afubi, he's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. <laughs> At that point, we decided to divide up the We were literally running groups. around all over the damn school like... <laughs> I don't know. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office while Sakura, Yakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the ah. nurse's office, <laughs> we found Hifumi dead. And that's when Ouch. we heard the body discovery <laughs> announcement. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Or Taka, We must man. have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. <laughs> it was a crazy, crazy goose chase. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste who'd arrived after us, and she told us something very surprising. Hifumi's body has disappeared. We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room. <laughs> His left so we hurried back. <laughs> she can't handle blood. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? But when we got there, we discovered that now Taka's body had also gone missing. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. That's a big and ass after school, some dude. time, Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository, which is where we rediscovered the corpses. How matter of fact you gotta be, sir. I think that about covers it. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. Yeah, this isn't one of my favorite it cases. It certainly seems to me trials. that these are not a simple series of connected events. It was all okay, planned. Well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. I should have said what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth of the case, I have to find them. No matter what. Uh. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before Hifumi. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers! It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3, while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? Oh! So it's obvious Taka came after! Maybe? I just were using the but something about that is bothering me. So, the... We already know what order they were killed in! Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. While Taka's death came See? So it's obvious Taka came after. So, regarding Taka, I wonder if he or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed. Oh, no, God, I hate when they don't tell you. And they don't give you... The second game is a lot better about giving you hints and stuff. Hold on. There's no reason to assume that the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. If anything, 
that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying Sorry the culprit that, wanted us to think the hammers were used in order, but in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Okay then, let's see the proof. <laughs> the broken wristwatch. I really should not take long breaks when this game comes to mind, because there's there's too much crap that happened in the last one. Okay, dude. Like, for one... Why does that count against me? Okay, I need a C. And now an H. Where are you, H? Now I understand. Oh, Lord. I'm never taking a long break from this. Again. Oh, see? Look! It broke with the hands pointing just past six o'clock. It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer. Because as of last night. <laughs> hey you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Tiger's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared poorly as first watch. So it's ten o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the boys and girls. So if it wasn't broken after six last night. Then he must have been attacked around 6 this morning. And that would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Hifumi. And before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. <laughs> A lot of crap happened this morning, dude. <laughs> that's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. He's way too fast to Now, if Taka was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. I know I said I wasn't gonna eat. Uh, I was gonna try to eat on stream list, but I'm stacking. It's different. You guys gotta try these gummies, man. They are awesome. They put the Harris Bros. one to shame. I'm telling you. That may be true <laughs> in the case of Taka's murder. Hey, I needed the energy trigger. But all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's right. With him, at least, we're all... Ah! <laughs> huh? What was that? That came from the Emma Smith. When we heard Hifumi screaming, we were all together. Except for Hiro and Kyoko. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office. And that's where we found his body. That's totally true! We're all in the clear! Oh, I know! They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, <laughs> then played God. it later on! Oh, that's if so that's clever. that's true, where's the tape? I don't know. Don't <laughs> just go making stuff up! Anyway, we all have rock-solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi since all of us were there together. Clearly, none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his when his body vanished from the nurse's office. Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room. And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time! Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there she right She was passed there. out, Even idiot. if she could pull that off. There's no way she could have done the same with because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. <laughs> Besides, I didn't do either of them anyway. In other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. On the other hand, 
Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared, so they most certainly could have done those things. Hmm. So what now, Kyoko? For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. Yeah, That's really. true. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. And according to what Celeste... We could have not been gone for more than a minute or two, though. So then the killer was able to get in and move Fumu's body in that short amount of time? It would seem so. His that body doesn't make any sense. disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. I mean, I'm not shaming, but uh, Fumi's a big guy, dude. That's not an easy feat. But to carry that much weight from the first floor Especially up to that. the third in that short amount of time? Oh, man, yeah. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. Twist. The, the dead body mo moved on its own? The boobies on me! <laughs> no! Not another... Ghost! <laughs> You're a shaman, damn it! You should or shame it, whatever. I don't think it has anything to do with the occult. I think what she's implying we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. The dead he was alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? But I mean, we found his body. He was dead. He's playing possible. Perhaps he was <laughs> simply playing dead. Take. That it isn't possible. Huh. It doesn't look Are like you, you have to use the truth bullet. No, he can leave us dead, and you know but that you're supposed to be expected. His dead body had been found, and that. Isn't are we really? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi, there's a chance he is actually still alive? No. If Hifumi was dead, and you know that, ha surely you heard the body discovery about Hifumi's dead body had been found. There no, we go, I had it reversed. Was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. Uh -huh, what do you say, right. Monokuma? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive, but what I can say of it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy book. No, actually, that was plenty. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when even if we find the same body again, if that's true, then why was... Huh? Later on? Exactly. Taken by a discovery announcement. The first time players when I found this body in the same time was when. Oh. Shoot. Okay, okay, fine. I got it! We heard it a second time the middle, in the repository the middle one. when we were discovered the two bodies. Uh, ding dong, ding dong. Oh, he's been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use have you like to pass trial the end. It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? 
Exactly. <laughs> if we were actually rediscovering... And in reality, when the two dead bodies were being discovered for the... F so, when we found Hifumi the Reaming, he wasn't uh, actually found dead until... And that's just part... There's one other thing that leads me... Oh, oh, oh! Do you see Mr. Forgotten? That is the worst logic I have ever heard. Ah, oh, Rosa, that bad. Mistaken. I do not think there's anything that. Okay, then. Let's take another look at the Actually, events surrounding the discovery. Actually, we have some pretty obvious freaking evidence, but. should become clear whether he will. This whole thing is pointless. I know exactly what it is. Well, here's one thing we do know. The first time we found his mini body was in and then, while me and Celeste were in the his body disappeared. And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before being moved and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned, there was no notable difference. I'm just letting it play out really so you can see it, but I of know what to not. do. It is impossible. This is ridiculous. You seem a little on edge, Celeste. Celeste, whatever. Well, here's one thing we do. The first time we found him, and then his body disappeared. And the next time we saw his body, it was in the... But when you compare his body to other than the change in how it was positioned, there was no notable difference. <laughs> No, it's wrong. Ha! Clean glasses, my dear. In fact, All of us glasses there was wear one clear no, difference no between how the and the nurse's office in the Republic's glasses. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to feel the rest. It's when pretty we found obvious, Hifumi dude. in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But when we found him <laughs> later clean. in the repository. They were spotless. And I found I the item used feel, to wipe feel like, them clean in the nurse's office trash can. I didn't feel like walking around blood-covered glasses. I mean, that would be annoying. I got it! It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon that he was obsessed with. <laughs> One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's, and the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital cam. And whose digital camera was it? Hifumi's, of course. <laughs> Chubby princess, or whatever it is. Princess Piggles. Pretty pudgy princess. Oh my god, this trial's going up forever already. Anyone but who I see your point. And I wouldn't be caught dead using a tacky piece of garbage like that. <laughs> a few tissues is all I need to keep my glasses clean. A few tissues? Then there's no question. Oh yeah, because you're a serial clean. murderer, that's right. Or mm. <laughs> a serial killer. Mm. What I'm saying is, <laughs> the blood saying, on his glasses it? was- Even if that is true. He does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses I other mean, than the glass? That's a good it must have been him. So let's assume that Hifumi was he pretends to be dead. But then he stands <laughs> up and walks in with that. The impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes his copious possible. Corpse. But then, if he was just... What was with all that blood? Is it pink? The fridge in the nurse's office contains packs of blood for him. He figured if he was gonna play dead, he should go all out. So he just dumped it everywhere! <laughs> oh, I, I need more to frame this. Blood come to me! But he got crazy with it and had to wipe his glasses off when he was done. God, what an idiot! And if Kifumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of it should be perfectly obvious. I got it! It could only have been he flew while we were all gathered in the nurses. That also explains how the door- The door was locked? Well, after the bodies to me and Sakura, but when we got there- And the repository door can- Which means, when Hina and Sa- And it could only have been Hifumi- He convinced us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body. So, Hifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was oh, one of the assailants. Oh. But that means he took part in the murder. 
just finally it gets interesting. If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? There's more? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? I got it! You're talking about the note Kifumi had hidden away, aren't you? In his pants. Ugh. Hidden notes? That's right. We found it stuffed in his pants. What? His <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, forget about the pants. Let's just, we, we don't really need to know where it comes from, okay? <laughs> Look at the sweat dropping. <laughs> I found a hole, maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so I won't tell anyone else for now. Let's be in the quiver room at 6 a.m. Oh, that's the note I was telling you about. The one that told me where to go. Huh? Wait, this one's a little different. In my note, it said. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. I see. Then this note isn't the same one Hero got. Hmm. What say you guys? You got your suspicions? It's not the same? In other words, the killer got in touch with the... And that person could only have been... <laughs> I got it! <laughs> That's right! Toby's Toka. pants. The killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Oh, okay, I get it. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, comment. Toby's <laughs> pants! Kind of annoying that the right answer could be something you don't start out with as ammo. Yeah, it's it, it is, and it doesn't really give you a hint. You just kind of have to figure it out, which is really irritating. All right. And the person it was intended for must have been Huffy. But remember Huffy. what the note said. What time did it say to me? Oh, six a.m. Yeah, it does. The note has nothing to do with TikTok. I'm no, sorry, I just, I, I'm sick of waiting on this stuff to play out. I know it's not very long, but I'm sick of failing. <laughs> no, there absolutely is a connection. What? what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? The Will? note said to meet at 6 a.m., which is the same time Taka was. We've already proven that using his wristwatch. Ah, that's but there's more. Watch. Look where the note says the, the equipment room. It was just where Taka was killed. So, Taka was murdered at both the time. I think that should be plenty to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Hmm. Well, the no better objectives. Then someone used that note to throw. The culprit really is a cold-blooded monster. <laughs> Telling people they found a way out. Look at my but bear. If they gave the note to Taka. What was Hifumi doing? Stuck down his pants, no less! Most likely. Hifumi stole it off Taka's corpse after- uh, He stole- Where's your proof? Go ahead. Excuse me. Oh, where are ya? Oh. I got it! When I searched Taka's body, I'm I not saw gonna... that his lifeless hand was gripping a small scrap. I really don't like news on a guide, and I I really would remember this right if I did. This. I mean, this case the was tricky. This piece came from is because it is complicated, but that's my own fault for waiting for so long in between these. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the note we found. And Taka's scrap and Hifumi's note. Yup, they're from the same piece of paper. If Fumi had the note meant there's only one way Taka died clutching the note, leaving behind. Did I get all that means if Fumi knew exactly which per Whoa, yeah. After seeing all this, in fact, he was behind the whole thing. Sorry, 
No. Uh, no, he's dead. He's he's when very When we found dead. him in the repository, Ifumi was truly and his glass was plain. <laughs> the second body discovery in that. Idiot. So then, whoever did is the master. He was killed in the repository. So, he must have been killed. During that time, we'd all split up and were searching for- In other words, during that time, none of us have alibi. Wait! But me and Sock- Stop trying to steal the spotlight, you stupid wall! Who are you calling hey. a wall? Anyway, when they were killed anyway. bothers me, too. But there's something that's been bothering me even more! And oh. what might that be? The weapon they used to kill- The weapon? Yeah. Cause I mean, yeah. the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was, but Justice Hammer three and four were so. If Hifumi, the culprit would have had to then put the hammer. But wouldn't that be? So I'm surprised. It seems there's some <laughs> semblance of a brain knocking yeah, around the skull really. of yours after all. Hell yeah, it's packed in there, good and tight. You're you're truly an He's idiot. right though. I, I was don't totally sarcastic either. and you took it. The Monokuma file makes it clear that they were killed using similar instruments. Oh, but God. if the hammers were already... So the question is, how could the call... Personally, I haven't a... So which hammer was used to attack... Those were accounted for in other rooms, too. Um... Is it not possible they... I don't think it is possible. They... So then, what... It had been scrubbed if the hammer got covered in heat. I'd also like to point out that the were and even some flat mouth. I think whoever made the justice. If that's true, that would explain the Monokuma files note about the wounds being similar. <laughs> no, TikTok is a social media plot and Puffy is a bicycle, bicycle company. That's so true. So Hifumi moved Taka's body to the repository <laughs> where someone then used the hammer to kill him. Whoever did that is the true killer. The one with whom he was working with. Hold on a moment. I still think the way the graduation rule works, so the idea that anyone. We did talk about how there wouldn't be any reason for anyone to work together. Yeah, Oscar Boston, you asked about that too. At least that's what we thought at first, but. And just for the record, guys, the only reason why I'm flying through this now is because I'm using a freaking guy. Because I got sick of. Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, because this is another thing the where the one who actually carry out the act you have to remember something and it doesn't so tell you. The rule that. True. It is simply impossible that two people work together on this. That is how the rule was explained to us. But that only really applies if there's one murder, right? In this case, however, there were two murders. Based on the rules that have been made, even if more than one, only the one who actually carried out the act, assuming the rule holds true. There we go. No, it's wrong. See, how would you know this stuff without Since trying there were a million two times? Murders, it's at least plausible that more than one person was in. What do you mean? If there'd only been one murder, then yes, the idea of an accomplice isn't really worth considering. Naturally, if only one person can be saved per murder, an accomplice has no risk versus reward benefit. Risk versus reward benefit? The payoff for working together. The reward that balances out the risk of taking part in it. There's no point in being someone's accomplice if there's however, yeah. if there were some potential mutual reward for the risk. Then cooperation yeah, becomes I mean, possible. You're saying that two people could act as each other's accomplices to commit two separate murders. It's like that movie. Uh, damn, what was that movie called? Uh, throw mama from the train. Uh, uh, what was that saying? Switch something. I think that's I, I what the remember. true killer told Hifumi. They would each have an and based on the case's events. Hifumi you know where they the killed each other, act, murdering Taka. Uh, killed someone's other person because they weren't connected to him, therefore they wouldn't be, you know, connected. Like, let's pick this completely unrelated person to kill this other person, and vice versa. You know. They made him carry out the first I murder, just so he couldn't back out of the what, 
the saying was. Oh. It might have been Boss for Boss. I'm not sure. Murder of the Orient Express. It was from, it was from some old movie within a movie, and I don't know if it was a real movie or not. It was a black and white movie. Switch swa or da 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 da. But it was definitely from that movie in the 80s or 90s called Throw Mom, Throw Mom Off the Train or something like that. Because the guy hated, hated his mom so much, so it was basically like, Hey, you hate your ex-wife, I hate my mother. Uh, how about we switch and kill each other's person, and then... God, it's gonna come to me and I'm gonna completely forget. Anyway. I also applied for a job with TikTok a few months ago, but I'm still not convinced company will survive long term. And I never use it, so I didn't want to get to an interview and explain I never use our product. Burn or Express, uh, maybe. Yeah, TikTok, I, I, I don't really get it either. I mean, I, I know people who use it. I honestly don't know what I'd do with it, and, and I just, it's definitely not something that I'd be like, Oh, for sure, you know, that's going to be a guaranteed company. So anyway. in this case, there wasn't one single person committing yeah, multiple murders. it could be murders. Murder or Express. I mean, I'm not sure. Instead, each person killed someone, creating two. And it only looked like one person, because that's how the true killer designed a single suspicious individual, a similar weapon used in each crime, disappearing bodies, I'm wrong. Corner Wicket, the film was inspired. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm, according to Wicket, the film was inspired by 1951 Alfred Hitchcock thriller Strangers on a Train, which is also seen in the film. Okay. Okay. I, I couldn't remember. It's been so long since I've seen that movie, but I remember Being that one was quite a set of circumstances. They cult made it classic look like in its own little way. Was behind it, all. it had uh, Billy Crystal in it and uh, Danny DeVito in it? Two, I think. Pretty sure that was it. I don't remember. The mastermind picked their target and, and then to avoid the no accomplices rule. They, they had a saying in that movie, Strangers on a Train. Switch switch or swap switch, something like that. Which basically meant I will do this for you and you will do this for me. And I cannot and it's very crazy. Because they kept saying it in the movie, too, because it was so catchy and so, like, instilled in your head, and I cannot think of it. It's really driving me nuts. And to avoid the no accomplices rule, they simply killed their accomplice. It's true. means that betraying Hifumi was part of the plan from the very hmm. beginning. And that's just awful. I Why have my suspicions. So cool? What do y'all think? think? so? I can't help but admire its cunning. Still, their choice of accomplice seems odd. Odd. Kim was so spec, which is why she said not to look at this as a series of entirely separate episodes. Kim is amazing. Although, when you think about it, she's almost too amazing. Like, it's almost unnatural how good as she is at this. Yeah, we still don't know what her, uh role is, you know, how in the beginning it was like, oh, I'm the ult I'm the uh, ultimate so-and-so, I'm the ultimate, you know, we still don't know what she is, and she refuses to talk about it. And I'm the ultimate luckster. <laughs> I literally got into school on a lottery. <laughs> I understand how an accomplice could be involved, but then who was the one who- That's problem numero uno right now! I know who it is. I don't even need a guide for this. I know who it is. Here's my answer. Yes. It was Celeste. Ah, uh, so I'm the suspicious individual now. Oh, am I? shut up. Like you're so surprised. <laughs> I really do hate this kind of joke. You're crazy, nope. man. I wonder. So what you are saying then? is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him. That I would go within 10 feet of that- Oh, Jesus. Shit from brains, that lazy, worthless, goddamn idiot! 
Where'd your accent go? Ah, ah, moi Yeah, that's the other thing. She's been lying about her identity this whole time because they're like, you are Japanese, right? And she's like, uh, yes. But she'll talk in these accents, you know, she's just, I don't know. <laughs> we, we actually do not know her real name. Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. Is that so? It is. Throughout the it investigation, is. there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you are working together. Mm -hmm. I got it! The behavior they had in common has to do with the suspicious <laughs> individual in the Especially suit, since doesn't it? Her, her screaming, like, she had us literally running around like idiots, you know, like... Seems pretty obvious. The only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and Hifumi. Shush, the adults are talking now. Sorry. As he said, only Celeste and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Are you saying? Everything they told us was a lie? Why are you so After surprised, After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual. Yeah, Correct. we were running around and like not crazy. not too long after that, do you remember what so- I saw the shadow! Something about her at the top of the stairs! We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed all based to have on seen this one next person. to draw us all to the physics lab up on the third floor. I mean, she literally had us all over she the place. She let out a blood curdling scream. That wasn't even believable. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it even she said? Even you admitted it, Bianca. <laughs> Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man, here at the soon as I screamed. I don't even care anymore. We don't know her identity, so whatever, over her voice. That's why the suicide. <laughs> Once she'd done her job of getting us I'm all so up to the physics lab, this it goes was on forever. For partner to I guess because it's like two murderers, I guess. <laughs> This is bad. Come on, we have to go back again. It was to get us to divide into two groups. We got so much exercise today, so guys. That we would discover both bodies at the same time. In fact, Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split up. <laughs> Good job, Celeste. Then why did we split into two groups? I'll leave the hunting part. That seems much more interesting. Very well, then, Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I finally got my voice back, but I would lose it again too, I'm sure. I'll even capture the suspicious in it to Toko, Byakuya, and Sa Sakura. Well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, and on top of that, that piercing <laughs> cry of yours early on... It was so horrible! <laughs> <laughs> That's like me, man. I'm not a screamer. I'm just not. I, I don't know why. Even when something scares me, I just don't scream. I like gasp or, you know, or freeze up. I, I can't even, like, <laughs> that, that would be like me doing it. <laughs> that was to signal Hifumi, wasn't it? <laughs> a crazy way to signal something. It was oh, your okay. way of telling him, we're on the third floor. Everything's going according to plan. Everything's going according Why to plan. Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? <laughs> it wasn't even that loud, dude, but okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just You're not realized anything, that when we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now <laughs> was know was awesome. only pretending to be dead. Oh, his glasses are so bloody! They stink and they feel nasty and just have it. I mean, ew. <laughs> I, cer I certainly was. <laughs> wow, Celeste, you seem so as I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered! <laughs> you know? 
Let's Celeste. God, dude. You were the first one to say he'd been murdered. Oh. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. Oh. You gave it away yourself, you little. I don't believe it. Everything. The whole thing was one big act. <sighs> you were with Celeste when- Yeah? I was... Wait! Then that was- She wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help she didn't you care if you were out of the sick or not office. die or whatever. She was just seeing you as a distraction, Each piece isn't much by itself, but start putting them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? I have no <laughs> idea what you mean. <laughs> Don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Point! Oh, did I? I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it. Looking back, I can say that that one little slip-up was... What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to... They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. We're all gonna die here. We're gonna die just like those guys did. Died. I remember her saying that too, but I can pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were attention. first to discover Taka's body, and then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make <laughs> sense. <laughs> that is kind yeah, of funny. I see what you're talking about. Although I don't, uh, I don't really hear really that, Celeste, everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? Enlighten us, please. If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? Yeah, like I said, it's less common, it didn't make sense, but what is he alluding to? Da -da 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 -da. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? I mean, now that I look at her, I guess it was pretty obvious, but I don't know, man. Said, well, they must really be enjoying the sight of us in Maki. Positive, we are all going to die. We are going to die. Just like those guys died. And that oh, is damn it, I didn't mean to do that. And that's all it takes to finish. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? That's my fault. I didn't mess up. I just delayed it. All I said was, we must really be enjoying the sight of us. They must be positive. We are all going to die. We are going to die. Just like... Because no, I, I memorized what? it when I was supposed to just shoot at it. Because that's also the confusing thing. You use the same that's button, right. which is triangle. There's no reason Celeste should have said, just like those guys died. Because the triangle shoots, but it also remembers if you hold it, so... When she said that, none of us had told her Taka was dead. Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. So there was never any chance for her. So how did you know? So how did you know more than one? Because Kyoko had also did. <laughs> uh oh! Oh god! Oh oh! She's you all out. have such vivid imaginations. Vivid you know imaginations. You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person. Little... Then what about the picture I took? <laughs> how do you explain this picture? That is the, of the silliest piece of evidence I've ever seen. Me away. It doesn't really look like he's being, being sell, bragged. Right? It just kind of looks like he's posing. So let's it. put the suit on. And then. Then she used the camera's timer to. to. set up the picture! Have you completely <laughs> forgotten? You are the old plus. I happen to know that. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is everything I told simple. Are we sure? What could you possibly mean? Surely there are other experts. No. There is no. Yeah. <laughs> if it, it wasn't a picture of the suspect dragging the booby away, the only possibility is. I got it! <laughs> These it's not a picture of the suspect dragging the booby away. They were dancing. 
I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. Even though it away. Really lo don't really look that either. That's certainly within the realm of possibility. The one being dragged ah! off in that picture <laughs> isn't we've simply been led to believe. And the strange costume really might honest. only exist like either, to leave us with okay. someone wearing. That's what happened. You put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Such a thing is utterly impossible. Utterly. Who was dragging him away? Is it? I don't think. It's then shut your mouth and allow me to educate you. A true hair. So I think she can prove it. But is that really possible? Oh god! Ooh, we just got bad A, didn't it? You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out! Then you just draped me across with Fumi and had him carry my weight! You tried to make me look like the bad guy! Like I said, ridiculous! As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight. <laughs> no, it's wrong. No. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, because that Robo Justice suit had a. It could not bend. You totally can't fit it the way it seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's right! They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. I'm not so sure that I think the suit was designed from the yeah, I think so too. West and Hikumi took Especially the suit specially stupid... designed and stuffed Hiro <laughs> into it. You know, opening it up. That's thing. how they were able to fake that. The point of it all was to make us believe. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's well a scary then, face. I suppose. Uh-oh. Don't make me laugh, you idiot. Why oh, are you Jesus. Me? <laughs> oh, my God. That is nightmare fuel right there, dude. That's. So, Wes? Oh, um, clearly. You want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, here's one you lost little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? <laughs> My voice keeps going back and forth. Maybe I am doing good, Celeste. Who knows? <laughs> hey, Hifumi, who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Yazu. Hero. When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear. Was Good it not? God, your voice is really freaking so, out, dude. And I quote, Yasuhiro. In other words, Yasuhiro Hatakurei! Oh, oh, God. But my name isn't really Yasuhiro. It's actually Taro. Your confusing statements don't make any sense. <laughs> You're well, really making you things more complicated. But are we sure? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Kyoko. Oh, damn. What do you mean by that? I mean... Think back to how Hifumi <laughs> used to see, talk to see, us. Seems pretty obvious, doesn't it? I'll burn you alive. What do you mean by that? It means I'll burn you alive. How do you refer to each of us? I got it! That's right. Our last names. He called us all by our last names. Exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. So if the fool did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, mm -hmm. Agakure. I'm sure it was just incidental. By chance, <laughs> you have one time. His first name. Sorry, I, 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 I'm about to die. I, uh, I said that one thing. Don't talk. <laughs> I feel like if you were dying, you'd be more honest, honestly. But you know, Random whatever. Chance. I don't know. Now, isn't that a convenient explanation? No, there's no reason to think he would have said the name any <laughs> different than normal. But he That's must pretty... have run out of energy before he could say any more. I, I mean, I was kind of, I, I, I was kind of hitting the head like really, 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 really hard. So he flew me was trying to tell it, but the name he said, no, no, Hold on. and that's Celeste. Yeah. She never actually told us what her real name is. 
What did you just say? To think You're freaking out. You take your false accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit. Which accent am I? Which nationality oh, am I? Come on! Enough with your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to you? I look crazy. Oh, oh Jesus! Please don't I do that. I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Can someone What's slap her voice? Can you fill Or uh, What's your real throw some name? water on her or something. Make sure your ear holes are wide open and lit up. <laughs> My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? Oh shit. So I still will get up so that I have to do something to make her accept that. Showdown time, hopefully. Cause good god, dude. I hate this Tony case. Was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last name. Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name. It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is... Celeste, you looted for God damn it! How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict me, that's the Maybe. only truth there is! Too many white noises! But Fumi was trying to tell He wanted us to know the killer's lap. If there's one person... It would have to be you, Celeste. You have my ideas and focus in here. Celeste, you loaded for God damn it! How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict... Ha! No, it's wrong! Yes, I do! Because the e-handbook tells us everything. It helped us the last trial, damn it. That's it. The hand what? Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows yeah, the owner's idiot. Monokuma told us all of That little bastard probably has been known this whole time. This handbook is actually part of the healthy school mode, so don't listen. He started up, it was play your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now this is not your everyday notebook, it has so many more uses than that. So all we have to do is check her handbook, and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. That, that's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Celeste, not. can you please just tell us what you please? Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because, 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 because! Until the game's over, you never know what oh, might Jesus. happen. Fine then. Let me set. Let me go over the case again, from the beginning, and make our lovely comic. My favorite part. Listen to this music forever. Oh. 
Some of these are completely, like, random. Like, completely random. Oh, shoot. Did I use the wrong thing? No, 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 I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. Okay, um... Context is kind of funny because <laughs> it's like, what? Oh god! Oh my god! Everybody freaking out! Oh god! Okay. Oh, whoops. What is that picture? Okay. persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... I had to step away during the argument with last name. How did that get resolved or has it yet? The last name... Uh... The last name... Uh... Hifumi always referred to people by their last names. Like, he'd always be Mr. or Mrs. And, uh... He said the last name, but Hagakure, Yasuhiro Hagakure, Hagakure is actually his last name. But when people, but when he said Yasuhiro, they're like, oh, it's Hagakure, but they, he actually met Celeste. Because Celeste never told us her name. Kifumi, <laughs> with an accomplice, the killer was <laughs> able to right. execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. Oh, I got that wrong, damn it. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, I, I, I know what I messed up there. Okay, hold on. I had a feeling I had the... I had these mixed up. Ah, damn it, I lost it. Okay, hold on. Okay. That's a clock, though. This is a watch. Or, I mean, th this one's a watch. Hold on. There Here's exactly what happened. There we go. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. That someone they Whoa. met with was Hiro. <laughs> the murderous duo intended to pass Hiro off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, this music, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. Next, he fully positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking him while the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. I don't know about you, Oscar Paul, but this song gets stuck in my head all the time. This is like my favorite part. It can be frustrating because assembling all the stuff takes time, but it's definitely the most stylish and the most fun to see it play out. They did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero when they were done with him. They shoved him, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. There we go. And then finally, at 6 a.m., 
they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. Look at that little... Oh, no! Ow! And that's where Hifumi killed him, making it the scene of the first murder. <laughs> Look at that rage. <laughs> the murder weapon was Justice Hammer 4, which was left there in the equipment room. The reason Hammer Number 4 was used was to create confusion about the order of the crime. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack store. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and an injured Hifumi to sell us that store. With these two incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds. It is a banger song. Speaking of, did you see the Persona soundtracks are on Spotify? No, I did not. Which Persona? The Persona 4 Golden? Because of Steam? I take it? I'm all for that, even though I actually own own that. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I, that the I own, suspect like, was increasing <laughs> the size of the hammer. But that definitely and helps me because my laptop does not did. have a disk drive, so awesome. <laughs> Usually, I'd have to listen to music on my little uh, portable thing. So two, two, three, four, and five. Oh my God! Yes. I am in heaven. Thank you. He fell right into their trap. And started looking I'm for so the suspect gonna based look on that up after this, flight. or after I'm done for the night, rather. Because after this trial, I'm well, gonna do another that. video of the in aftermath, the and then because this was, like I said, this is not my favorite case, nor and this trial was really, really frustrating. This so. was exactly what he fully was hoping. And for. I'm gonna have to cut it to pieces because I messed up so much took a blood packet from the refrigerator and <laughs> Justice Hammer music? 3 and turned the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. So, are you telling me he took a blood packet and it was like <laughs> and then just after rubbing it in his head Oh my god, what an idiot. He oh, let out a scream oh, to no. draw us back. And when we returned, that's what we found. And I don't know if you got this, I'm sure you got this already, I'll just go across it, but whenever it shows that kind of naked skeletal dude thing, or person I should say, that's always the killer along with them. They just make it look like that. Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. He left the nurse's office, and Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. This game has such good music in it, though. The sequel especially, and what's even better about the sequel, Oscar Puzzle, is it actually tells you the titles of the music. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but there's always a background music thing going on the screen. In the sequel, uh, Goodbye Despair, it shows you... That and the title, which is pretty cool. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, he fully had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment. <laughs> I, I, I like the struggle. <laughs> he Why was that such a struggle for you, dude? And Taka used the doll that heavy. to move it all the way down to the repository. Uh. Oh god, this layer! That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. Then again, you know, dead weight. But even <laughs> know what the true killer had in mind for their final act. Oh god, this is so weird. Dum dum dum! Their plan Literally. all along was to kill Hifumi and get rid of the one person who could betray them. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bitch move, man. <laughs> ah! I think I'm this regular hammer I got gotcha you with. cover everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all... It... Ha <laughs> ha! 
I don't know why we phase through each other like that, but I do wish you a little. Celeste! Sorry, you loop. Ha <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone who, who likes her and stuff, but she had to go, man. I lost? When was the last time I was forced yeah, to Yeah, because she is the ultimate gambler. They hang heavy around my neck. I do not know what accent I'm using. I don't even know what I am anymore. Who Can am you I? Admit it? You're the captain? <laughs> Listen to you, trying to take charge. As if you're my private instructor. I, Celestia Ludenberg. Actually, no. Yeah, you just lost I your heard. accent. Yasuhiro is fine. Ha! Uh, there you go. There you go, Oscar Possum. Yasuhiro, that's her last name. No. So, you finally accepted it. I'm the kind of person, once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. <laughs> Talking completely different now, aren't you? Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay, finally. Good God. Oh God, I don't even want to know. Jesus. Yeah, whatever. I'll take it. I still got mana coins, dude. Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or, no, I suppose this is the end. Isn't it? <laughs> Am I happy to do this or not? I don't really know. Because we all die these horribly ironic deaths. It and... is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah, finally it's after a freaking... Okay? Okay. I just realized, how long have I been doing this? I've been doing this way longer than I... This this has been so stupidly long. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. I just realized, this like past 11.30. That trial took that long? You Good would, god. Please locate your lever and cast your vote. Screw it, I think I'm just gonna do another video of this and, and when then the be votes done are for tied, the night. Who will become the blackened? Started streaming too. Good God, man! I did not mean to make it. Well, I'm gonna cut it up to pieces. Will so. you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Let's get on with it. Whee! Time to go. Ironically. On a, okay. It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct. The black in this time, a true care devised the whole sticking scheme was... Ta Celestia Ludenberg, a rubber sexy Taiko, or Taiko, Yasuhiro! Honestly. I lost. Well, that sucks. Why should I even... T should I even continue talking like this? I guess trying to work as someone else was a mistake, after all. Afumi's ineptitude was beyond all my moment calculations. I knew it. Say so you really did approach Afumi with this plan. But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agree to commit <laughs> murder. I'm sure she relied on her specialty. Lying. I mean, she is the gambler. <laughs> my specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get him to agree. So then. Did... did you use... you know... <sighs> I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get Fufumi, to get Hufumi to act as my accomplice, I used her, <laughs> aka <laughs> Fujisaki slash him slash alter ego slash laptop slash boy who cross dresses girl that he seemed to forget over and over again. Which, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Fujisaki identified as, like, a girl, it's just, he cross-dressed as a girl. So, still saying, like, oh, you know, her, it's like, it was still wrong, because it's like, no, it's him, it's just, you know, so. And it got even more messed up, because it's like, you guys do realize it's a guy, right? And he's like, oh, no, 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 her, her, and it's like, okay, for one, it's not a guy. It's not a girl. And another thing, it's a computer program. Like, good lord, dude. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning my name, but it was the one thing Hafumi and Taco were both super into. Does she mean... Is she talking about Alter <laughs> Ego? Hey, what? 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 What are you talking Just about? Just a second. Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important... Yeah, that's right. Monokuma's not supposed to know. 
totally out of the loop. As usual, how In sad. Other words, then you're the one that stole it. Indeed. That's right. Let's see. And you used the drag of Fumi to the plan you'd come up with. How did she how she tempt him? I'll let you have Alter Ego. I'll have you I'll let you have this laptop. Um and that's it. Like literally. So in exchange for this laptop with this uh uh boy or girl as you see it, um computer program to be nice to you and flirt with you, not really flirt, but be you know Show interest in you. <laughs> right again. Last night we had our meeting about this. I paid a Fumi a little visit. Um. Oh, um. What are you doing here? Actually, I was hoping I could talk to you alone. It's about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? What? Are you okay with this? It was Taka. He stole it. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. My bad. yeah. Oh, so that's why he... Okay, yeah. What? So then... And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I found a use for the digital camera. I've taken you-know-what to Taka's room early. Yeah, that's why she's saying it and... that Because Monaco was not supposed to know about it in you know, Alter Ego, so that's why they said they're, they're talking like that. And I think the picture as soon as I showed it to Hifumi... Damnation! Grr, so it was him! But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her. <sighs> you are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Oh, God. What? what? As for me... Please forgive me. He... he threatened oh, me. Um... He... he did? As for me... Oh, God. He, he came to my room last night unannounced, and then it's hard for me to even say he abused what? me. What? <sighs> And he, he took pictures that burned! He said if I did not, he would show them to everyone. Oh, God, Celeste. You're just so... Damnation! How dare you, Sully Taco. Taco was cool, even though he yelled all the time. It was a little crazy and a little obnoxious, but he was still cooler than both of you. That's a crime, absolute crime. He, I mean, I, I knew he got a little crazy, but... What? I never imagined he would go that far. <laughs> It was amazing how completely he bought it. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable that was. <laughs> I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. Completely unforgivable. I'm gonna fucking die. Most unfortunate. Wait, please. If you go down, you'll be playing right to do his hands. Mm -hmm. Actually, Taka's plan to use her to escape, and he has made you his target. Uh. Oh, there are there are more personas set on Spotify. P4 dancing all night. P4, yes, yes. I've been wanting the, I've been wanting the uh, endless night collection music for so long. Shoot, even the well, no, no, no. I have the Persona 4 one on CD, but I don't have the others. That is awesome. What? Escape? You don't mean <sighs> Taka is gonna try to kill you? What? what? Indeed. And also, he can keep her to herself. <sighs> Himself, this sorry. Is unforgivable! Did that bastard! Completely unforgivable! Honestly. Can we allow him to continue with these barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not, how could I? She, she... I swear, I will save her! Oh my god. I have to save her! Hey. Oh jeez. Then, would you like to join with me? It just so happens I've come up with a plan. <laughs> and devise a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> <sighs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> I like how she just said it right out to his face and he's just like, what? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just me thinking out loud. If we agree without a second thought, hmm, the effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even a love as twisted as that, can still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um... Uh, uh... I know this may sound weird, come from me, but... You disgust me! I see. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume Hafumi's creation? Indeed. Yes, it, it was a real pain in the butt, too. All I asked to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he'd made something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. 
So, why'd you decide me to, ma to make me the suspect? Hmm. Because you're stupid. Ouch. That's it? Let's see. In that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't like him either, either really, but God. Life has been tough on your parents, though. <sighs> I feel like I could cry. But when you're explaining your plan to Fumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Fumi supposed to do after that, assuming you had actually let him live? Yeah, that's a good point. Are you okay with this? That's simple. After he did us part, pretending he's dead, once someone showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held, mm -hmm. held on. And he really believed that? Mm -hmm. Well, of course. That wasn't all there was to it. As I explained it to Fumi, the plan was... While you're questioning about what had happened to him, I was gonna murder someone else. <laughs> and then, okay, good for you, Celeste, for getting straight to the point. At that point, if he would have had an alibi, so nobody could doubt him, I told him that, and he believed it. <laughs> it all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. <laughs> I just smashed the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi ate it up. He believed the, the lie wholeheartedly right until the moment of his death. So in the end. So you had planned to kill them all along? <laughs> but of course. There had been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. I mean, come on now. What the heck? How can human life be so little to you? Well, that's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. I am the gambler, you silly little... Don't be mean. Now you sound like Bianca. I wonder about that. I do not uh, mind that statement, actually. <laughs> I know I'm a dick. That's okay. No, he derives his pleasure for the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Why? Then, what made you take things what this far? Heck? Was it really just for money? Mm. Are you talking about the ten million dollars Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. <sighs> but that's not all there is to it. For the moment our new life had began, my only thought has been escape. But... Uh, all along you've been saying I have to accept living here! You little bitch! <laughs> Obviously, that was a lying idiot. Hey! I couldn't take it, I hated it from day one. Poor day one, even, even else in here. You little bitch! Oh, Jesus! Stop doing that face. I'm gonna get every day was fresh torture. And you wanna know why? This huh? is fine. Because I had a dream. <laughs> and accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream Honestly. forever. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me, and it was all for that dream. Uh, and what was that? What was the dream? Isn't it wonderful? To live in a European castle. Wow. Okay. A, a, a castle. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool concept, I guess, but. What the hell are they? Are they vampires, or...? I kiss at your feet, ma'am. Lovely. And I... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm giving you blood to drink. I'm not really for... Okay. The dude on the right, quite cute. The dude offering me the drinks, cute. The dude kissing my feet, or wiping... Whatever he's doing to my feet, I don't know. Seems cute. You know, it's not so much, especially the, uh, black shadows, <laughs> red eyes, that's really freaking me out. And together, had some men from all over the world to serve as my butlers slash bodyguards. Oh, okay. I was gonna make them dress up like vampires that satisfy my every need. And give them all red contacts, apparently. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. This is fine. <laughs> this, this makes me think of that meme of everything on fire. This is fine. Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. That's what life is all about. <sighs> okay. Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's ten million dollars would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, There's but... nothing to be done. Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end, so why would Just I? You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your own friends for oh. it. I am asking me to feel guilty. That's a pointless endeavor. 
I did nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. I'm a gambler, you little... Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That that's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> my ability lies unrivaled, and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. Wow, okay. The conscious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared. Yes, that doesn't make indeed. a lot of sense, but okay. That's right, I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. <sighs> I secretly like it. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, who knows? But you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice Isn't then. I think I would like to go. Oh, oh, of course you would. I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. Hey. You just get executed again. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste smiled then, and when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings. How would you do that, dude? But that statement itself must have been her final lie, and that weak, fake smile is what betrayed me. Thrills, chills, kills! You're all done? Okay, yeah, finally! Let's get these two freaking hours over with. You all done? Okay, let's get rolling black and to start the feast. It must be a very Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For her, the ultimate Let's gambler. give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. What? If this is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. Well then... Take care, everyone. I'm gonna be killed Perhaps horribly. We'll meet again. No. In another life. I hope not. I mean, I don't hate her as much as the as much as other people I hate in games like these, but damn it. <laughs> we just it was just so obvious this trial was. It was just ma okay, what's what's your death gonna be? Ooh. Stylish. Oh look at that a little castle. Uh oh dear. Um the burning of Vasali's for sale, which? How fitting. What do? Is that what he's saying? I don't even know if I'm doing. Oh, fire. Um, this will surely be um quite painful for me in my fluffy dress and oh oh dear um oh god no oh, no no. <laughs> That is a lot of fire, dude. That's, uh... <laughs> nice music. I believe I'm melting. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Versailles. Okay, thank you. I knew I was doing that wrong. <laughs> so a fire truck truck went to save her, supposedly, and it just crashed into her. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean, she was probably pretty much dead anyway, because uh, that 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 would screw you up for life, I would think. <laughs> I mean, damn. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> Third execution is over. We didn't really like her anyway, so this is this is okay. Uh, uh, Celeste killed my friend, so I can't pity her, but I also can't deny at one point I considered her a friend too, I think. And for him to just come along and... Isn't it just awful? Someone couldn't cut free of the regrets from the outside world and so many... And so more people had to Extreme! die. Extreme! You guys are still young. You need a place where fire and What are you gonna do? Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass Torch of Hope to the next generation. Let me out of here! Yeah, thank you. That would have been perfect. Oscar Blossom. Should have given her a guillotine in a Mary Marie Antoinette outfit. Yeah. What would give it home? I'll throw a trash if you just let me out of here. Too bad. You only invite me hope whether you like it or not. Damn it. That's why I just say knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is. Ah, you don't look sad at all. Come on now. 
But that reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How are you gonna make us get all through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. Mm. So anyway, Kyoga, did I, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? Hey, hey. So, uh, uh, what's the deal with that? Well, what? Nothing. Huh? What's the matter? So then. I'll answer your question if you answer mine. Mm. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do to me? Ooh. Uh, oh god. What? But <laughs> but I really thought she'd be putting a roulette real crushed by the ball to fit the game. Yeah, that that would have been really cool. Oh. That would have really Oh god. Answer me. What did you do to my body? Ooh. Oh god. How exciting. Oh, oh, jeez, oh man, oh jeez, what do you mean? What did I do? I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Why are you sweating? Um, what was that just now? The master did something to Kyoko's body. What does that mean? Uh. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward here. <laughs> I think it's about time to get out here. Well? You might just go enjoy your school life. You get only give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya later! Woo! See ya! Wee! <sighs> oh, Jesus. Monica would disappear, leaving us all depressed and despair, and bored! Good God! Although it wasn't all despair, there was one small hope. It was the key! <laughs> but, I, but I guess crushed by a big ball was that exciting. I don't know, I mean, that may be true, but knowing Malakuma, he, he could have made it epic. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, hey, Kyoko, Malakuma already mentioned it, but... What's that key that so, Celeste gave you? Most likely, it's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? Alter ego! What then that means? <laughs> Celeste probably hid it in hey. there. I suppose sometimes it's easier to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well, then we better go check. Indeed. Good idea. Oh, Jesus. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us hey. and said... I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else had to go, ha, head to the dining hall. I'll check out a few what? later. Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? She spoke she quick. She quickly glanced at the surveillance Come camera. On. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still a risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go to. What? You? Please let me go. <laughs> Stay here, argument is just gonna draw more attention Goodbye. to us. Do whatever you want, I don't care. Thank you, well, Miyakia. Yeah. It's already, it's already gone. Then it's up to you yep. now. I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? I'm so hungry. Oh. All that fire made me hungry. So, Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go together? <laughs> Does that mean what I think it okay. means? Good luck, man. Girls like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. Oh, wow. I'm trying to forget what he just said. Ever had the dining hall leave me and Kyoko there alone? Shall we go? Well, shall we? Yeah. So then. We need to get into that locker. Kyoka took the key, so that's to give it her unlocked locker. So I swung and we saw... Yay! Good morning! It's been a while, hasn't it? It's safe, thank goodness. I never heard Kyoka sound so early. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart, though. I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. Oh, and I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please just wait a while longer. <laughs> so now we can officially say that the case is closed. As far as the incident is concerned, sure, but... Can I take a second? Since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Kevin, yeah, please tell me. What are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However... Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. God damn it. I don't need to know? That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like what happened during investigation this time, you disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do mm -hmm. that, it's only natural they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too? No! I, I believe what? in you! You believe in me? Is it obvious people believe in their friends, right? That's why I want you to tell me! And I want you to believe in me too, and I like you and stuff. Because we're friends, I mean... It's I true. understand. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. That's fine. Then... Fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. Oh, you see? Cliffhanger. What I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I took, 
told Kyoko I believed in her, she told me a story that was, well, <laughs> almost unbelievable. I actually don't believe in you, never mind. So I for what she told me if I owned it, so I waited for night nighttime to come. <laughs> I told I totally almost read that as nightmare to come, and when it did, I went into action. Correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And a storage closet there, way in the back. She said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? Eh, just go for it, dude. Stop being a weenie. Come on now. Oh, so you, could it really be hidden here? Just go for it, dude. So that's way the back, but I mean, seriously, it up there. I placed my hand in the back of the So it has being yanked in. Gushunk. I said I was hurt. I fell through the wall. Ow! <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. Damn, son. But nope. I fell through a bag of storage closet. Wow, uh, this is a damn big <laughs> storage closet, huh? Turned out the back wall is like a revolving door, and I made my way to the other side, just like Yoko said. Correct. And the boys' bathroom, there's a storage closet, and way the bag closet, there's a secret room. So this secret room, what's in here? Okay, well, let's look at it then. Good lord. Wait, wait, can I save what? here yet? No, I can't yet. Just no desk, no drawers, okay? It's just throw a desk, but oh my god, dude. There's a bunch of files, what looks like volume about yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Look at everything one found at the edge of it. Host Academy Student Registry? Is there anything here not covered in dust? Some have been looking at it recently, so it's found in my hand. But before I had a chance to look at it, a slip paper fell in the file and I turned my attention to it. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, you must not leave. What's this? You must not leave. That's kind of weird. I can understand it said, like, I can't leave, but you must not leave. What is this? My head feels funny. A strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before. What? I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I, I... Oh, holy crap! Ow! <laughs> Strange sound rang out through the back of my- It felt like it was shaking my brain, but ow! And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started. It's all over. Yeah, that opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. That the old throb hit and this bleeding out, that proved too much to me at least. Ah, damn it. It's not gonna be there anymore, is it? Oh, the books are gone! Empty. God. It's all gone! They're dead! They're all dead! You're a steward. You know the. Why didn't I research more carefully? My brain refused to do any more work. Is this the pain I have? gonna spray us for my body. Ouch! Crash, go back to my room. Get some rest. Ow. My whole body's re My body's heavy pain. My mind heavy at thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Somehow I made back the first floor of my school. <laughs> For a word, the more I felt, things were getting blurry. Can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself collapsing right there. And after that, huh? I heard a sound. What? It was faint, but I'm not Uh. A sound. It's coming from the gym? No, don't do it, bro! As it desperately hold my shaggy frame toward the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. Oh, uh, crock, die! Kagonk! Wow, get, what? What are these sound effects? What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here in the gym? Well, we'll go in there, doofus. Go, go look. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds come from inside. Meanwhile, only intensified that much more. It sounds like a gun shooter. A gun a gun shoot. A gunshot or something. Holy crap! Oh, whoa! Butt cheeks. Um. Damn! That girl is. Uh, uh, girl is super. Steroid butt. 
forming their rage battle between anything immediately possible. No, one side's not human, that's for sure, but... Or else I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even Why breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal! What deal? I deal? made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> what am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? It could have been. The mess my spy is. Good lord! Man, there aren't that many of us left, are there? Damn. To be continued. The next morning, die on the Dantra Celeste case. So, so now there's only now there's only five of us here. Okay, my last spastic save. And I'm ending it for tonight, because it's it's late. I mean, not late for me, but I know it's late for other people, and I just don't have it in me. I'm going to have to re-watch this and cut it to pieces to have it even watchable. But thank y'all for watching. It's the Quirk here. I'm so glad it was somewhat fun and worth it, hopefully, for Oscar Possum, especially since he's been a real big fan of this series. And I definitely have... My lo loyal watcher with him in everything, but especially, I think this series is like his favorite, I think. So, I definitely cannot wait to come to the climax of this. We're not quite finished with it yet, but we're more than halfway done. I mean, look at the people we have left. So, I mean, you know. 